Hello everyone and welcome to the private pilot maneuver series. Today we are going to do a power off stall. This is one of the maneuvers that student pilots are expected to know as a memory item and they are supposed to demonstrate this in their check rides, in their PPL check rides. A uh, couple of things to note here is that when you are doing this power off stall maneuver you need to stay within plus minus 10 degrees of the heading that you start the maneuver in and uh, why we are supposed to do this maneuver is because it's supposed to emulate a landing and let's say you get too close to the stall speed or almost stall on the landing, how, how do you react to that? So it's kind of an emulated landing but then you just stalled on the landing how do you how do you react to that or if a stall happens uh, if a stall happens in flight uh, how do you react to that so that's why you're supposed to demonstrate this and you're supposed to know how to recover from a stall and that's exactly what we are going to do today just a quick plug before we move on please make sure you leave a like on the video and please make sure you subscribe to the channel it really helps the channel a lot and it also helps a lot with my motivation to keep these videos coming so do help me out with those couple of clicks now we are in the cockpit here at 6500 feet and i have my autopilot on and we are at somewhere in the 98 knot range uh, 2400 rpm uh, one of the things to note is before you do any of your maneuvers on the check ride or in practice you're supposed to do a couple of 90 degree turns for example right now i am at a heading of 090 i would do a 90 degree turn to the north and then back 90 degree turn to the east and this is just to make sure that there is no traffic around you because uh, in vfr flying traffic is all see and avoid so you're just basically by doing these two turns you're just making sure that there's no traffic around you looking around for any hazards and stuff like that so we'll assume that we have done both of those uh, clearing turns and one more thing is that you have to be 1500 feet above the ground in order to execute any maneuver and we are at 6500 right now so way above the ground and we are in that safe range so let's take it off the autopilot and let's start cutting down on the throttle here so i'm going to cut the throttle down to somewhere in that 1500 rpm range now you'll see that in order to hold altitude you'll have to pull the yoke uh, because you're losing all that energy and you need to you need to pull on the yoke now as you as you hit 85 knots go for flaps one and you'll need to pull in less and less as you put the flaps down because your lift is increasing overall 70 and flaps 2 see how the nose kind of bumped up and then 60 flaps 3 and then now we'll assume that our runway is somewhere in that uh, 6000 feet range so we'll start descending assuming that our runway is at 6000 feet and we are trying to aim for the aiming points so i would keep that approach speed of 60 knots and then just descend to 6000 feet still going stable at 800 feet per minute descending there 20 and now as you hit the runway altitude just uh, idle the throttle and pull up to about 15 degrees 10 to 15 degrees there's a stall horn keep pulling keep pulling and there's the nose drop as the nose drops go full throttle and get one degree flaps out still trying to stay in that heading that you started at now once you do that your aim is to make sure that the speed is good and also make sure that your vertical speed is positive speed is stable vertical speed positive flaps up one more degree or one more notch 75 knots again still positive v speed flaps up there you go so now we are in a clean configuration and i would want to establish a nice 75 knot best rate of climb climb back to our cruising altitude of 6500 feet and uh, when i'm actually putting in full throttle as as you stall i have to give in considerable amount of right rudder to make sure that i'm not getting into a wing stall i think you would see that on this uh, turn coordinator on the top you'd see how i'd put in right rudder as soon as i put in more throttle because you need the most right rudder when you're at low speed and high power uh, settings okay 
it back at 6500 so I can enable my autopilot and it will detect because I've already set my altitude here to 6500. Looks like the clouds are definitely onto something here. By the way, thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you had fun watching the power off stall. Stay tuned for more private pilot maneuvers and make sure you check out the other videos in this playlist and I will see you on the next one.